So, yeah, I know you've already talked to a few officers and everything. Um, so just like, you know, part of the investigation is um, everybody that was in the house, we'd like to get their DNA and we'd like to do swabs of their hands. Um, so is it okay with you if we do that? Oh, oh, yeah, it is. Okay, all right. So just real quick, I want to... So th this is just you signing saying that you're okay with us doing that? Yes. Okay. What's his street name? And you say you shot your fiance? All right, hold on for the stay on the line. Hey, stop moving right now! Put your fucking hands up! Hands up! Do exactly what I say. Stop moving. Stop! I'm a kid. Hold on. I'm a kid. I'm a kid. There's a lot of weapons in my, in my, in my. Just keep your hands up. Do not move. Turn around. Face away from me now. Face away from me now. Stop. 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 Get, get behind cover. Get behind hard cover. Get behind hard cover. Go to the car. Walk backwards to me, please. Walk backwards. Just walk backwards. Keep your head so we can see him. Keep coming. Keep coming. You're good. Just walk backwards. Okay, that's fine. Just keep coming backwards. We're going to get this all sorted out for you. Who all's inside still? Just keep facing away. Keep facing away. Keep walking back. Hey, sir, you can stop walking backwards. You just, no, no, you can just, just stay there for me. Don't, don't move. Face away from us. Please and thank you. Someone will be walking just a second. Keep I appreciate it. Yes. Buddy, you come Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Okay, okay. Hey, buddy, you're hurt? Keep walking back. Keep walking back. Do you have any weapons on you? Okay. Who else is inside? Is there anyone else inside? Where's he at? Where's Stan at? Get back here. Walk here. Walk here. Walk right 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 here. Wal
You broke my wrist. Test. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I you're gonna stay with her, okay? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna go. Call that gentleman back to you, right? And you're gonna just gonna get what he knows. Oh, Otherwise, get him down out of the way. Tell and me. then That's here's the thing. Go. Okay, man, man, man. Talk to me. Tell me about what's going on. Talk to him. He actually said. Talk to him. We're gonna approach. He said, "I'm gonna get my guns and I'm gonna kill you, bitch. You shot me." <laughs> and and how did this start? He said he was kicking you. Where was he kicking you? In the hallway. Where on your where on your body did he kick you? On my feet. It's on my feet. So but he did go to jail. But he tried to hurt me. I don't want to go to jail. Okay. 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 Guys, come here. So, come here real quick, guys. So he he was he was trying to hurt me and my grandpa and my mom. He tried to hurt me and my grandpa and my mom. And he was coming. I was upstairs. I came back from a friend's house. He started coming upstairs. And it, what happened was they got into an argument. And I he came back downstairs. I was in the room with my grandpa. He's I was on the floor. Come on, guys. Let's, let's go walk back towards my car, okay? Yes, sir. Your name, sir. My name's going Harris. to jail. I don't Harris. want her to go to jail. She's not going to jail. The only thing it's I okay. have. I don't want to go back with dad. You can hurt me for it. No, this from a domestic fight. <laughs> is this dad? Is this stepdad? Is this boyfriend? Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. And, um. What are you gonna do? His dad. He, he, okay. I finally, after eight years, left his dad for domestic violence. And we, um. We came back with we, him. If, he was and, safe and in the past couple of years, he was very safe. Can I tell him what happened earlier? I heard what happened. Where is, he, where is he at right now? He's on the floor of the kitchen. Hey, boys, he's on the floor of the kitchen. He's, he's where are the like, guns in the house? I'm on the side of the bed. I, I don't know what's in it is bad. And he bought some more. The past couple days. They're advising firearms are in the bedroom. They're all over. They're, they're all over not. the house. Correction: firearms scattered about the house. And I don't he know. He bought some more from Tony, and I don't know where they are. Was he so. conscious when you last saw him? Yeah, Tony he, is, um, let he's me, a, hold no, on, hold on, hold on, bud. Hold on, okay. Let me speak. When he said, I can't believe you shot me. He said he was going to kill us. Yep. She's he's, advising that he was conscious the last time she saw yep. him. And he, he said, are you kidding me, bitch? You shot me, I'm bleeding, I'm going to go get my gun, and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> we're supposed to get married in November. No, we're not. Uh, we can't run when um when this argument started, what was it about? It was about uh, there was no. Actually, you don't know what happened. Okay. If I can ask him to step away, yeah, sure. I know he just. I hurt. I hurt. I know you. Okay. I went and worked in Oviedo today. Came back at twelve thirty. Hey, bud, they're, they're good up there. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead now. Please. So I walked in over the other day and no camp, so I took the room his friend. I went over and walked in over the my property manager. Sorry, my mouth was so dry. Um, I got home, and he said to me, call me when you come home. I said, okay. And his roofer friend was coming earlier that day. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, was here, great. I just but I have colitis. So I ran through the door because I had to use the bathroom. I came in and he goes, Oh shit, you didn't tell me you're coming. So he was cooking food. Um, he's an executive chef, so he's cooking food. He he ran into our bedroom, took his mitt, and scooped up something. And I said, John, I said, what's that? Nothing, man, nothing, man, nothing, man. Just go to the bathroom. I know you gotta go to the bathroom. So, of course, as a fiance and a woman, I'm gonna go, What are you doing? And you could see, I saw what he picked up. It was this long thing, like a pipe, not like a, um, such a novice with that, but it was something plastic and then this big lighter. And I said, Are you doing? No, no, no. So I left the bait. Drew, I dropped him off at his friends. He was there for a couple hours. Was he, was he your friend either? <laughs> no, he is for this, yes. So then, I, so after I, I came back and I said to him, I go, what are you doing? Like, truth, 
love is truth. You need to be telling me because I've been doing an alcohol my whole life. I said, well, you know what? Six years ago, I didn't know that. I said, I'm going to church tomorrow. We'll talk to the pastor. Do you need help? What is it? What is what is in the thing in the flavor? What I was it? Was it? I don't know, sir. Because okay. I'm just like, I grew up in Philly, but so I was that bas good Basically, kid. you guys you guys started arguing about this, and then he got mad. And, and so all day, so okay. all he did was walk in the backyard. We didn't talk all day. Nothing. I kept the peace because that's what I try to do. And then tonight, he, I, I actually, I, I knew he was in a bad mood. So I, I brought my, my dad and put him in the bedroom. I put both dogs. I walked both of them. I put Drew in there. And I said, everybody stay in. And you'll see in that hallway, I have a bed made yeah, yeah. in the hallway. Dad, I cleared up. There's a separated for now, okay? Okay. I put I put a bed in the hallway. He walked down the hallway and I said, John. I said, he's fine. Hey Harris, just keep everybody separated. Okay. Okay. I said, he's fine. Everybody's fine. I said, can't you just go to bed? You want to go over here with me, please? Okay, I just said, just keep everybody. You keep eyes on him, bud. Yeah. I just said, just leave everybody to be and just go to bed. Which we've done for the past two years, sir. He's an alcohol. And I've hey, hang out right there for me, bud. I gotta talk to your mom alone, okay? You got you gotta stay away from each other for right now, okay, bud? Come on. You're a big boy, you got it. Bottom line is for two years I realized he's an alcoholic. So we've got shirts, we're trying to help him, like no more vodka, do wine, and I'm helping him. But clearly this set him off because he was caught. Okay, I got and you. I said to him, I said, and I cried, it was four, about four o'clock. Jews are this front. And I, I lay on the ground and I looked at John and I said, John, I'm gonna tell you right now, let's go talk to pastor. Let's get you help. He goes, I've been doing now for my life, my great. You know what, but I love you. Third marriage for both of us, let's work it out. Let's figure it out, let's. So when, when did the flight start? Tell me about that. Okay, this so it was 8.30. So I'm looking at time right now. So around 8.30, I put everybody in the bedroom, walk both dogs. I said, you take your dog out. I'll take the, the husky out. You guys just go. Drew didn't want to sleep in his in grandpa's bedroom, of course. And I said, I need you to. You will see that there is a bed made outside, right outside of their door. And I put an American flag so that sometimes that helps because he won't tread on it. And I, Where did you say the gun that you used was at? In my purse right next to me. She's advised that it was in her purse. Where was it after you shot her? After you shot him? What did you do with it? No, sir. You I don't remember. It was a big... <laughs> She's saying she doesn't remember what she did with it. I think I laid was it, it down on the table. But then I also ran in... I'm sorry. Copy. Hold on, stop talking. Ah. Alright, listen. I need to read this to you, okay? This is not like the movies or anything like that. This doesn't mean anything. I have to read this to you, okay? Yes, sir. Alright. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to a lawyer and have him present with you before and during any questioning. If you, can, if you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, you will be appointed one at, uh, to represent you at county cost, at county expense before any questioning if you wish. If you give up your right to remain silent and later wish to stop answering questions, no further questions will be asked. Do you understand each of these rights as I have explained them to you? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to need you to do this. I need you to sign this, okay? Yes, Mr. Tony. Okay. Mom, do I tell him? Hey, hang up the phone, bud. Nope. Listen to the police officer, please.
Mr. Harris is going to walk you through this, sweetheart. All right, okay? buddy. Everything's going to be okay, dude, okay? I know. I know. Your dad's been arrested enough. I know. And you're, you're not new. You're not going back to him. I, I promise you that you, you won't have to go back to him. I promise you. You go right, with, with Haley. And you, hey, to, you go with Haley, if nothing else. And you just sign right there. All that, all this is, is basically you acknowledging that I read that to you. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. I'm not going to ask you anything as of right now. Okay. Yes, they told you stop talking to me. Watch enough of this. I just, just, I just want to make the peace. And I've done this for months. Real quick, was, was your dad here when this happened? He was okay. in the house. That's true. I put them in the bedroom. With both okay. dogs. That's, that's just... yeah. All right, buddy. Yes. Listen, you're not in any trouble, okay? Your mom's not in any trouble. Yes, sir. Okay, this isn't like TV, but I have to read this to you, okay? okay. So don't let this scare you, all right? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. 305. Yeah. I got what? Um, if I do, it's going to be in the very back. It's going to be in a big box. All right. You ready, bud? Yes. Go ahead and just turn that off, dude. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have one present with you before and during questioning. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer. One will be appointed to represent you at county expense before any questioning if you wish. If you give up your right to remain silent and later wish to stop talking or stop answering questions, no further questions will be asked. You understand each of these rights that I have explained them? Yes, sir. Okay, buddy. Not fit in there. This line right here. I don't have a signature. That's okay. You can just write your name, pal. Okay. Can type on a little bit, okay, buddy? Hey, everything's gonna be okay. You're doing great. What's that? Not yet, bud. Just hang tight, okay? Did you Mirandize him? Yeah. Okay. Um, you want to hold on so I can keep yeah, all of them Yeah, I'll keep all of them together. Can you get that to him, please? Sure. She has my phone. Well, we're taking okay. everybody. I'm going to hold on to this for you, okay, bud? Okay. How do I turn it off? Right, you, like off, off? Like yeah, so that way it doesn't die. It's off. It's just it for a second. Right, it's buddy. off completely. I'm, I'm going to explain something to you real quick, just so you know. Everybody's going to have to go down to the like police both? station, and we're going to talk, okay? It's a sweet background. So he's going to hold on to your phone. Okay. The minute we can give it back to you, we will, okay? Okay. So I know you're a little off stressed off? out right now. Here's just the blue one. Yeah. Do I off off? Yeah. No, 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 no. Leave it on. Oh. We don't want anything off. Okay. Leave it on. So I know you're a little stressed out right now, okay? Because I know you just saw some crazy stuff, right? Um, we're gonna. What's going to happen now is we're going to take you. That's your grandpa. All right. Yeah. You, Grandpa, and Mom down to the police department. Okay. We're going to set you up in a room, and detectives are going to want to talk to you real quick. Once they're done with you, um, and, and we can we can clean the house and get it all right, you guys will be able to go back home. Okay? okay? okay. So if you need water, you need you, I'll get you some shoes. I have shoes in the house. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll get them for you. You want a soda or anything while I'm in there? or no. Any bedtime snack that you want want me to grab? No? All right. I have knives upstairs. I ain't worried about knives. I'm okay. Oh, your dogs. You have a dog in your room. And there's a dog in Grandpa's room. Yeah, I don't know. My dog, one of them probably came downstairs. I got it. Well, there's one. There's, I, put them in, I put them back in their rooms. There's okay. a tan one and a husky. Yes. Okay. So, um, do you know if their food's been filled up? The food I could either do that right now. The car needs to move. Uh, the f I could do that right now if you want. No, I'll do that, buddy. You can't, right, um, you can't the let foods, you go in my house. Okay. Uh, Whose car is this right here? Is it yours? This one's going. Yeah, move that. Just pull it up there. to the ground.
Okay, so here's what we'll do. Um, you uh, get the bottom and then Paris take him. Ruby, Ruby will take him. I'll stay here. And then uh, back to PD. And we'll see you one. All right, little brother, what's your name? Drew. Drew? Yeah. Okay, buddy, we're gonna go hang out, okay? Okay. All right, man, come this way for me. George, we're waiting on shoes, correct? Yeah, I'm gonna tell, have him tell me where some shoes are. Upstairs. Uh, they're upstairs in my closet. There's like 12 of them, doesn't matter. Hang out with me right here, Drew. All right. She eats it. No, Drew, Drew, Drew. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. We're going to hang out. Um, I do got a rule, though. It's actually not my rule. It's police department's rule. Yes, if anybody ever rides in any of our cars, I got to pat them down, okay? Uh, so you cool with me patting you down real quick? Around. All I'm doing is just making sure you ain't got no guns or knives or anything, yes, okay, bud? Just turn around, face the car for me, put your arms out. Bing, bong, boom, bam, bam. There you go, bud. That's it. I'm not going to close you in here or anything. Just go ahead and have a seat. That way you can relax. Okay, pal? Obviously, I have to do a report, so I have to record what we talk about, you know, so I can go back and, you know, type stuff out. Um, all right, so I know they already read it to you, but we'll just do it again real quick. Um, you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand each of these rights as I have explained to you? Yes. Okay. Having these rights in mind, do you, um, are you still okay to talk to me? I watch the shows, so I don't, you know, I, I'm probably be told that I shouldn't talk, but, so I'm not real sure, <laughs> but, uh, but, I can't tell you, I can't I know, tell you what I know, to I can't advise, yeah. I, yeah. I just know that I, I can give you a, uh, to, you know, I can tell you what, what, what happened and, um, transpired tonight, um, okay. I just, I do, I do need a, a yes or no out of you, though. That's, that's the thing. I can't. Uh, um, I can just tell you how, well, yes. So, yes, because I can tell you what happened to see today. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. And then again, if you can just sign right there. That just, that, that just says that you understand everything that I told you. Okay. You swear the statement you're about to give is the truth, full truth, nothing but the truth, to the best of your knowledge, to help you God. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Can you um, can you start out at the beginning for me, and then and then um, you know, just give me as much detail as possible. Um, started out uh, in the morning. Um, went to work over in Avito. I'm a property manager. Um, took my son and his friend. Um, uh, John said he had work. Um. But he wasn't sure if he was going to be going to any appointments today. Uh, he was cooking a, a lot of food um, for friends that were supposed to come over tonight or tomorrow. He left. Um, I got a text from or a call from him asking um, how to open up our safe. Um, and he didn't know the, the code or anything, so I told him how to do it. He said he needed $500. Uh, Miguel, which is a co-worker of his, came, um, was coming over and needed, he couldn't get out of the ATM, basically. John said, I'll, he'll, he, he, he sent him money and um, John took the 500 out of the thing. Okay. All right, so, um, so I knew Miguel was there. Um, I left work, took my son and his friend, I said, you guys want to come back to our house or do you want to go to your friend's house? And they just, and we called his grandmother and they said they could go over there. So I dropped them off and I'm like, oh, well, this is nice. We'll have a nice day. Cause you know, camp mom all week. Mm -hmm. So I 
So I, um, um, I had used a restroom really bad. I have colitis. So I, like, I ran into the door from the garage, opened it up, lots of wonderful smells, cooking. And John grabbed the, the mitt and almost tripped over himself running into our bedroom. So it was, here's the kitchen. You go down a little hallway and into the bedroom instead of, like, greeting me. And I thought that was kind of strange, so I ran behind him because I needed to use the restroom. I see him take the mitt and he puts it. We have two sinks, and he takes the mitt and he collects something. And I see before he did it, it was a, a lighter, uh, like a rose-colored lighter and a long, skinny tube. Okay. But it didn't, it wasn't like a, a, a paraphernalia, like um, uh, marijuana. It was something white in a, in, a, in, a, in a plastic tube. So, of course, I said, well, what, what is that? And he goes, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. So I followed him out, held my bowels, followed him out to the kitchen because he still had it in, his, in the mitten. And I said, well, what's going on? Like, we're getting married in November. You know, I, I know I, I see him go to the manor sometimes and he comes back and he, he, he has anger issues and sometimes he's the sweetest and then other times he just loses loses it and I and I say to him like what are you on what are you doing because like complete opposite bottom line is um I, I, he said nothing nothing ran out, out outside so I used the restroom I came out and so I had no words to say to him um he had none for me he Proceeded, we're doing a project in the backyard. So he started collecting the little pavers from the front that he dropped and putting them in his work truck, driving them around to the backyard. Um, I walked the dog. I took care of, actually, I'm designing for our wedding, so I'm in the, doing that. And um, this is a crime circus presentation. I come out to let him know um, that I heard his, his phone ringing. And he picks up the pavers and he starts just chucking them. And you'll see them right there where all my palm trees are. They're broken. He just starts smashing them. And he goes, I feel the same way you do. I said, that's when I started calling him out. I said, we're about to get married. Like, trust. And then he started screaming at me. He says, you know what? I've been doing and alcohol my whole effing life. Okay. I said, well, well, I didn't sign up for that. Didn't know it. I knew you liked, I knew you did your vodka, but I didn't know about this stuff. And, um, but then I knew I just said, just stopped, you know, just leave him be. And he's working, working, working. And this is all out in the front yard? Um, the, the backyard. Okay. And there were neighbors out. Um, we have new neighbors that just moved in. They were out and the, in, the, in the back. Next door or like? If you're, uh, so if you're looking at my home, it's to the left. Um, and they have a little outside patio. And okay. I, I saw that they were out because I would just walk, I was walking the dog. Okay. But, but they, I just... They were in the back? They were in the back, in back patio. Okay. But so, I don't know if they were still there when I came back, dropped the dog off, yeah. came out to tell him I was going to the store to get my son's medicine. But they would have heard you yelling at each other? We were loud. If they were there, they would have heard it. Okay. Um, and I don't know if my neighbors, which is one of his good friends on the other side, possibly heard us. I just know that I, so I just let it, let it be. Um, I fed my dad uh, later in the night, and then um, we didn't have any words. Like, I, I just know just to, to stay quiet. But however... Um, he came in, and he, I, and he didn't make sense. He was just rambling. He was just screaming. And I said, and I, I, my son wasn't home. And I, I said, please come and come in the bedroom with me. I laid down on the floor. I started crying and saying, I'm going to church tomorrow. Let's talk to Pastor Allen. You just said that you're doing these things. I love you. Let's let's get help. Like, let me help you. You know, I, we can work this out. Like, I, this is what we, we, we can do this together. 
and um, and I'm begging him, you know, and and he and he he I said, was that five hundred for for the what, what was the five? No, it wasn't. It was okay, you know. And I said, all right. So I left it be. Bottom line, my son comes home. Um, my, I, I told my dad, please stay in the bedroom. And he, he knows, unfortunately, from the past, when I say, please stay in the bedroom, he knows it's because I'm just trying to keep things real quiet in the house. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had an altercation a week and a half ago as well. Um, um, so my son came home and I said, Drew, please take a shower. I have your dinner. It's in Grand Pop's room. Take a shower and just go in there. I took the dogs in, and I said, "Just everybody, just stay in here." Um, and and what I usually do is I make a bed in front of wherever people are, mm-hmm. just to kind of make sure everybody's okay, so I can sleep. Um, and I and then you'll see, in, if you've been to the home, you'll see there's the a bed outside of of the door and I, I put a flag on the, theirs because um, that sometimes helps that he doesn't walk past the, the flag. Okay. And, um, and I thought everything was okay and I had my, my husky with me um, on the leash and I had her and I kept, and I, and I just told them, please just go to sleep and they kept opening the door and I go, guys, and you hear the squeak and I go, everybody, please, just please stay in, in, in the room. Just go to sleep. Everything's going to be okay. No different than a lot of nights. And then he's at the, the stairs and he's screaming at Drew. Get down here. All these profanities thinking he's upstairs. Okay. Because we have a second floor and that's where Drew's room, room is. So he's at the foot of the stairs shouting up? Yes. And he's going and going and going. And of course my dad's opening because he hears something but he can't really hear. And then Drew's worried about me so he keeps opening the door. So I actually went over to him and said... He's not upstairs. I said, he's in with Grandpa. And then that made him, that, he's 13 years, and he just starts going off. Mm-hmm. You know, little, you know, just th- that, you know. And, and, and I go, just have dinner, like, every, and I'm just trying to eat the peace. And then I said, please, and he came in into the hallway where I was, and I'm like, just please, just, just leave us be. Just go to sleep. What can I do to help you? And he starts kicking my feet, screaming at me. I said, please, just stop. Where are you when this is happening? I'm on the floor in front of my dad's bedroom. Okay. And he's kicking my feet. He's kicking my feet. And I said, just, just put And he says, what is it going to take? $20,000? i will give you $20,000. Put in your account right now. And you got a $30,000 truck. You take the truck and get the out of here. And I'm like, can hey, just go to sleep? Let's go talk to Pastor tomorrow. Let's like, like, we can fix this, please. And he kicked me in the head anyway. And I was like, okay, sh- sh- okay, he's going, he's going. Then he kicked back and he says, nope, you know what? Easier, I was going to take F out. Take you all out. Going to take you all out. And he's got random guns and he's, I've had to hide two. And one's in my shoe container, because he'll just come out and start waving. And then he always at word, I don't know. You know, I have to, and it's in my shoe thing. I have to hide it, and he's like, that's what I'm going to do. Thank you, Mom. It's so much easier. I'm sorry. He gave me, he gave me his I said, please, and I haven't taken my gun out of the holster in years. And it's just funny. He said, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill all of you. I said, like, I hate your son. I hate your father. This is a crime circus presentation. So he came out. He came out with a gun. He was in his I don't know. It was, it was white around it. Like, I just remember seeing the tail. And he came running out, and he's like, that's what I want to do. It's so much easier. And the rest, I just, I just, I just remember screaming, I love you. We can get out. And I just.
first of all, in my head, and he says he's tall, and then he, and right before that, when I said about the dogs, I says, I don't even know what it is. I said, I'm like, that college student that never did any of those things, like, I don't even know what it was. That's where it started. Tell me what it was. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it is you even have. I don't even know what the problem is. And then that's when he says, you know what, I guess that said him off. And that's when he said, it's easier to take you guys out. So when he said that... Well, that's not the first thing. Yeah. Okay. Wait. He says he hates us so much. And the next morning he wakes up and he doesn't remember any Okay. He is such a good man. He really gets a good heart. It's okay. Now when he said that, did he did he leave the area? I went into the bedroom. Okay. And there's um he just got a new Rifle um, from our friend down the street. Okay. Um, sells guns. He, and then he bought two more guns. I don't even know where they are. I don't even know what it, it, he's like because of what's going on. You know, the economy. He he's bought like three or four guns, and I I don't know <coughs> what um, um where they even are. I don't know that the ammo. I just know that there is the the rifle, but it's in a, a box, mm -hmm. in a cardboard box next to the bed. Um, but I, all the others, I don't even know where they where they are. What he came What he came out with was it? Uh, I don't know. It was all I know is I saw a towel on his hand. I didn't see. I I he went like this to me. He had a tail over his arm. That's all I remember. What color was the towel? White. Okay. No. It was our dish towel. Okay. Now, at this point, did you already have your gun out? I did. Okay. Because he, I, 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 I had it out. And, 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 and I, it, 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 I'm going to take it and after just kicking and kicking us. And I, I didn't. Know. So, it's important. All right. I can tell you for me just a second. Yes, sir. Do you need any tissues or anything like that? No. You got through my head. I just, I was supposed to go to a church tomorrow. And I was hoping he'd go with me. Yeah. I've always been the peacemaker. Just trying to help him. Has he battled with addiction for a while, or you just found out today? It's been about um, the past four months. I've been finding um, my son likes smoothies. He's in wrestling, so we I buy all the straws, you know, the big ones, and we give make them protein smoothies. Yeah. And I've been finding pieces of straws cut mm -hmm. on an angle. Yeah. And again, I'm a novice to all this, like, but I'm I'm not an idiot either. Yeah, I'm an educated person, and I'm finding him in the bathroom, find him on the floor. He, I washes uh, his clothes, and I'm finding him in the dryer. Um, and I've asked him a, 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 about it. Um, and of course he did. No, not, I haven't done it. Yeah. You know, Turns it around. Yeah. Tur turns and turns it around. I knew the alcohol, and he finally stopped the vodka, which has been nice, at least in front of me, and then just go into the wine, because he's really, I mean, he's the sweetest man, gentle, kind, loving, great neighbor. Um, but even he's been fighting with his neighbor, our neighbors next door. He's fighting with his kid. Like, it's... I'm seeing a big difference in the past couple months. Um, he's not happy. Yeah. And um, uh, any little thing can set him off. And then seeing the straws and usually, you know, we, we always check in and we know where each other are, you know, throughout the day. In the past month, um, so the past couple months, it's been um, heading up to the manor. Heading up to the manor uh, to do some, well, who, you know, and 
very vague and then yeah. or doesn't answer his phone or, oh, I, I, I stopped off. And then there's a few times I've seen his work truck and I'm coming back from dropping like my son off or picking up friends and a truck, I see his truck and it's not like where he said that he's, and it's not that route that he would normally take. Yeah. So he's been very, very different and, and, and distant. Um, and been, and I think he's broke off our uh, wedding like 15 or 16 times in the past couple months. Not me. He, he has. Yeah. So he's not himself, not himself at all. Um, and I, it's, it's very scary. Um, my dad, I hide it from him. Um, I just tell him go in his room. He can't hear. My son, unfortunately, has seen the abuse. Um, he's seen him. My son has seen um, him, you know, throw me around. Um, you know, he's manhandled, you know, Drew um, a, a few times, but then Mama Bear comes and I yeah. I stand in, in, in between. And, and what's really sad is Drew came from a abusive father, which we've worked very hard and a lot of money to keep him safe. And then I say, look, you're helping... You're helping this cause. You're helping to pay for it, but you're bringing it into our home. Yeah. Um, but then other time, he's just, as, you know, just two nights ago, that we, they had the best time. So I, I, I uh, everything okay? Yeah, yeah, no, everything's fine. All right. Where are we at? Uh, I, I just told a little bit. I guess we're still being recorded. I yeah. gave a little bit of history of what I've seen the past couple months. Okay. Um, um, I'll recap a quick with straws cut and just him not being him, okay. him, him himself. And um, uh, is it Burris? It's, yes. it, has he battled with um, addiction? I said, yes, but I didn't know about any. This is new of like four to I'd say maybe six months that you get a little inkling because something just isn't right. You get you know someone for six years and you, you start yeah. seeing. You, you've been together for six years. And, um, um, y yes, sir. Okay. December will be six years. Yes. Okay, and then so you said over the past couple of months. Did, so is there like a change in behavior that you noticed or what? It, Angry. Um. Um. Uh, on the. Just very, yes, uh, agitated, uh, very angry, um, broke off our marriage, you know, for November many times, um, stating, you know, bad things about my dad and my son. And then in the morning, like, he's making everybody breakfast. He's a great chef. And he just makes everyone, and a lot of times he doesn't even remember you know, if I'm quiet, so I quiet. Well, did you realize what you did last night? And he, and he, and, and, and he just looks at you. <clears throat> Doesn't he, like, acknowledge it. Um, then all I know is that, that I, um, as he starts coming at me, and then I hear, <clears throat> I, I hear him saying to me, you just shot me. <clears throat> Pardon me. You shot me. Um, I'm going to kill all of you. Get the F out. And he starts walking towards the bedroom. <clears throat> and, that's, and that's after you shot him? I, I heard it go off. I didn't, didn't actually see it. It just, it went off. Went off, went off, and then he he said, "I'm gonna get." And then I ran in, and I I said, "Drew, come get, come with me. I have to get you guys out." And then I just said, "Call," and, I'm, and I said, "Just call." And I just started screaming, "I love you! I think I'm so sorry. Like, I just want you all dead." I don't know, gentlemen. I. I I kept telling him all the news. Please, you're scaring us. We walk on eggshells all the time. Just and like I was just saying, I'm like we we could go to 
pastor of Morrow, a cornerstone church right up the street. He would keep it quiet. We could work it out. But he has to tell you, Elijah said, you have to tell us what your issue is, your problem. I was so scared. I was so scared. He's going to hurt my, my father and my son. I didn't care. I know, it's, I know it's going to be hard for you, but I just got to keep asking you these, you know, specific kind of details, okay? Um, you know, so, you, so you're on the ground on, like, the little bed that you made for yourself, and that's outside of the door of... Outside of my dad's door, yeah. Okay, and that's where he starts kicking you? Mm -hmm. And where, where you said you, your feet? Just don't buy my feet, yeah. Just at the bottom. I had um, I had a blanket down. So yeah. this is it. Yeah, yeah. And you just hit, started hitting it this way. Um, my no. head's here. Is he, just, like, is he like nudging you or is they like full on kicks? He, he's kicking me. Okay. I mean, it's kick, but I also, it was a, it's a f really fluffy um, comforter. Mm -hmm. I took from our bedroom and then I had one I got from the spare bedroom. So it, I, and I had it wrapped cause I was, it was cold on the floors. And so I had, I was bundled okay. and I had the, the dog up with me. So, um, it, it, you know, he had his curse on, but you, but I, you knew, you know, he was hitting me. The padding of the comforter kind of blunted it. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I wouldn't say, you know, I told him like that hurts, but you know, it's a big difference if it, my feet were, my feet were out. Okay. And where was the gun that you used? So i learned that I, um, at night when he's like this, I take my purse with me and I take my car keys. Okay. And wherever I lay or make my bed, sometimes it's upstairs at the top of the stairs so he can't come in to Drew's room. Other times it's right outside our door. I always take my purse and my keys with, uh, with me. Um, and what I did is when I made my little bed, I ran and got my purse I came back out, we have a pool table, and there were all these little minis on the pool table. And I didn't want her to see them. So I took those and threw them in my purse. I zipped up my purse and I put it down by my bag. You're talking about the little one shot? Box. Yeah, the little things you get at the, yeah, uh, yeah the, the, um, like at Winn Dixie, the little mm -hmm. thingies. A and so there was a bunch of those on the, um, there's a box of wine. We're tasting wine for our wedding, and they were right next to it. And I, so I threw those in real quick. Were they empty, or were they filled? No, they were empty. Okay. And so I just, um, I, three, four, maybe. I just grabbed them because it was. I was. Just, I just wanted to make the bed real fast and get everybody quiet. Okay. Uh, I threw those in there. I had it next to me. My keys are right there. Um. um so it, so it was with, within arm's reach of where you were laying at the time? <laughs> okay. And at what point did you wind up pulling it? When he kicked me and said, um, and offered me money to leave. And then he said that, uh, no, better yet. Nope, I'm just going to take you all out. That's what I'm going to do. And I know that his friend that came over had just bought two two uh, uh, silencers or scopes or something from, and he took a gun class that that morning and came up. So I'm, all this is in my head and, and I'm like, I don't know if he went and bought a new, a new one and there's one laying there. And he's like, that's easier. I'll take you all out. And then he, he ran and I just went in and said, please, I got everybody quiet. Every, everything is fun. Like just, just, let everything, let everything be. And then, and, and then he just, and he starts throwing stuff and telling me no and slamming things. And I said, every, and I hear them at the door, creaking at the door. And I just, please, I said, just every, I, I made peace. Everything's good. Like, and then that's what he, and he got mad because Drew was, 
down with grandpa and he was calling him, you know, and he, so, and he just started saying things about my dad and money and, and, um, and then he ran in because that's, that's what I'm going to do. That's, that, that's what I'm, you know, it's easier to keep you guys. And then he came, like I said, he had, it was the white cloth, um, that we used for the kitchen. And okay. he came out and he starts running. Now, when he waved the gun around in the past, did he ever cover it up with a towel? Or, or would he just, you said that in the past he would wave guns around. Um, he did outside. He did it in the kitchen. Did he ever have it covered up with like a towel or? Well, anything no. Like this, he what he was situation? doing. No, he was in uh, doing kitchen work because mm -hmm. we were supposed to have friends over tonight. So he was in the kitchen. So he had the white towel. Did he have that when he was kicking you and when he said that he was going to take you out? No. Uh, when he was kicking, no, he didn't have the towel. He went back into the kitchen. And he had the white tail, and then he took it, and that's when he ran into the into the bedroom. We have very ambient lighting in the home. Um, you know, I, it, we don't have all we have all the nice pot lights, but I we keep it mm -hmm. keep it low. And he came out, and he's like, "This is what I'm going to do." And he's going out, and you're going out. This is a crime circus presentation. And I just said, and 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 I I I, I just I. I I, go, I, I, I don't, I, what, well, just scare him? I don't, just, just please. I, I, I and then at what point, at what point during that did you actually fire the rounds? As he came at me, um, this was the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Here's the kitchen. And he starts running out of the, the bedroom. So he's going And I'm him. going towards him saying, just please go to sleep. Because that's usually the best thing. So it's the bedroom. He's coming through the kitchen. No, it's um. So here's the bedroom. It's a small little hallway, like a tiny little L, like a little yeah. cubby. Okay. And then the kitchen is the uh, uh, L's like this. So he came around outside of our bedroom real quick, mm -hmm. and I was all right. I was standing right. Like by the kitchen. Where the granite, where the granite is. Okay, so you're basically in between him and. Um, your father's room. Yeah, the, my, he's on the other side. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit down, like uh, two French doors, a window, and then right in there. And I just kept coming in. And, and like I said, at the end, we argued. I went, just, just please, just, I, I said, I can't have another night. Like, I ended up spraining my wrist. He took it and slammed it. He, um, I had cuts um, on me, on my foot. Um, and that's when I took my son. This was a week and a half. I took my son to Knack Knack, which is in Oviedo, because he was just crazy, and I didn't want my son to see it. Okay. So he can, he comes out of the bedroom. He, you said he has that white towel around his hand. Okay. Did you see the imprint of a gun? Did you see a barrel? Did you see anything like that? I saw his hand like this. Okay. So I saw, and it was so quick. I saw him coming out like. This. And then there was the the, the, the the towel, and he's got big, big hands. I, I, I just, he did this. Okay. And then what did you do? I fired. Okay. Did you already have the gun up pointed at him, or did you do it in reaction? I had, I just walked out. Like, I always do. I always could walk out with my hands down, like, in defeat. Because sometimes then he feels like, okay, she's upset, like, Maybe she'll, and then sometimes I'm sorry. Sorry you look sad. And I walk straight out like this and said, just please, please, just don't hurt anyone. Please just go to sleep. And I'm saying that, and then he comes in, and like I said, he had the white tape. His left hand is so on the side. I'm just doing this because this is my mm -hmm. I ran to my dad's room because he's on the floor and, and he said, oh my God, you shot me. So you're on your way to your, your father's. He said, he's like, you shot me. And he's like, I'm going, I'm going to kill all of you. And he said it in this, and I ran to my dad's room 
Again, it it's, was so quick. Right in my dad's room, I, I, I grabbed Jerry when I got him out of the house. I, it, I, I got, and then I used to, but I called my son, called 911. And I just screamed, I love you. Um, Um, when he hit the ground, did you did the towel did the towel stay on his hand or did it come off? I didn't. I didn't see. He was on the floor. Okay. And and I I ran I ran right to um to to my dad's room. I I didn't I I, I didn't see him. I just heard him saying what he's going to do, but I I did not see him. Okay. And did you you didn't see him at all until um did you. The officers came. Did you see him? Uh, did you ever see him again? Um, Drew ran out. Um, so if here's the kitchen, um, and it's an L, he ran. He ran out. I saw his feet. As all I saw was his feet, but I grabbed Drew. Okay. So Drew was running out. I grabbed Drew. I got Drew about here. Here's the living room. Here's the front door. I grabbed him. And um, so I saw feet, that's all. And I just heard him screaming, he's gonna kill us, kills. And I, um, and then I, but I, so that's all I, uh, that's all, that's all I saw. So. Okay. Um, and then as we're going, I'm like, please call, 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 call nine, call 911. How many shots did you fire? <clears throat> I believe it was, I believe I, I heard two, I, pardon me, I believe it was two. And what kind of gun is it? Um, nine millimeter. Okay. It's a, a, a no, um, the revolver. Okay. What, what caliber? I don't know. Mm-hmm. John just got it for me for protection. Okay. To put into my purse. Okay. So that I don't know. He, I, I don't know that much about them. Um, do you remember the refrigerator being open? He was taking things and moving them in the kitchen. He was slamming the kitchen, the, the microwave. He was in and out of the refrigerator um, while I was laying there quietly with the dog before he even came over to me. So I know that I heard, and I would hear it go bing, bing, like it had been open too long. because. Okay. It wasn't that long I was laying on the, the floor, but I did hear that. So I knew he was in the kitchen because you could hear just kitchen mm-hmm. noises. Um, so it being open, I, I just know that he was in the, in the microwave. I heard him in the, um, uh, in the refrigerator. Um, and he was just slamming cabinets and slamming um, um, appliances and things. Okay. So, but I, I don't recall that. That was that was left open. That was left open. Okay. How many times in the past would you say that he presented a firearm to you or threatened you with one? There has been maybe three or four times that I saw the gun. Uh, threatening to take us all out or take himself out or um, that I don't I, I put a number on it. When was the last time other than to yesterday when was the last time that he presented a firearm to you? That was probably eight or nine months ago and it's the one that's in my shoe box. I have two little boxes of shoes, and it's hidden down at the bottom. And it's a, um, it's a pistol-looking long barrel. I don't know. Um, maybe that's the 9 millimeter long black. Mm-hmm. It has a clip okay. in it, and that's in my shoe. And that was like eight or nine months ago? That, I, I, that, that he... This is a crime circus presentation. You know, Leave it around. Has he ever pointed one at you, specific, like specifically pointed it at you? Yeah. Okay. Has he ever pointed at your dad or Drew? No, because they're 
at night, I put everybody you know, in. When he's in this kind of state, you always make sure they're away. Okay. I just tell Drew, I go, get a shower, get what you need, just keep the peace. And that's what I try to do. Okay. Um, and just there are certain nights that I just say, Dad, I'll bring you your water. Is there anything you need? Just do me a favor and just stay stay in your room because it sets him off when he sees them. Okay. Um, apart from the uh, the injury to your arm there, um, has there been any physical disturbances between the two of you before? Yes. Okay. Has any of that been reported to law enforcement in the past? No. 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 We're in the middle of custody battle. So um, I protect my... You're talking about with Drew's real father? So I, I don't. Do you have any pictures or evidence on your phone that you haven't presented? Um, there's the a few. I have as far as no, 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 no videos. I, I, oh. just my sons have seen it. I have the scars to prove it. Um. Okay. My daughter knows. My daughter knows because I, I'll call and say, I have to bring Drew over tonight. God bless her. She's twenty seven. You see, I've grabbed. She's pregnant now. Um, married, doing good. And but she knows because I'll call, or Drew will call her and say, "Can I please come home?" But you know, I don't report it because I, he's worth off with to this. So, it's safer with us. What kind of injury do you have to your arm right now? So, um, I can move my fingers now, but it's the sprain of the hand, um, uh, the wrist. I had carpal tunnel uh, surgery. Um, I'm a general contractor, so I use my hands a lot. So, that's why that's even worse. Um, I usually have it uh, wrapped so you can't bend it, you can't put pressure on it. Um, and that's one of the reasons he's really angry because the stuff I'm, that we're doing out pack, I weighed huge pack paper, 600 square foot of papers, and now he brought more and I can't lay them down. But, and I said, I can't with one hand. So he's a little angry. And by simple, but you're the one who did it. Yeah, 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 I know. But I don't tell him because I'm trying to protect my son. And that's what he was so scared tonight. And he's like, Mom, am I going to have to come back with my dad? <laughs> John's a good guy. Thank you for this. I just don't know. He's got issues. And I'm trying to help him. We're going to go tomorrow. And I was trying. Well, 95% of the home is actually stuff we brought. And I, and I, and I, I, I work part-time. I have an autistic child. I help him with his business. Um, where are we going to go? I'm like, I, I can. You know, smart woman. That's great. I'm like, but I have a dad and a son, you know, at school. Like, I know. And I, I, I. Let's just try and help everybody. And it is a tough spot. It's not, it shouldn't be like this. Do you have any, any other questions? I'm sorry? Do you have any other questions? Oh. Sorry if I'm rambling. I just no, no, no. It's just a very tough. And I, I finally got out of domestic violence. Drew's father is a Lockheed Morton engineer. Mm -hmm. um, he's been arrested for domestic violence, strangulation on him. I mean, just. And I finally said, "Enough's enough." And I got the carriage, and I moved, and I moved on, and I became a counselor, and I helped. 
Ciao women. I am women. Can you do things like this? So you have all the, you've got the network, you've got the resources, you know, you know how to do it. I work with these women. Mm -hmm. Okay. I work with these women and, and, and I still work with them and I look at them every day. And I put on such a good, you know, because I think they did what I want to teach them. I can't fix them. He's such, such a good mini soon when he's when he's when he's not here. This is a crime circus presentation. Um, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. Where, um... How is he if I might ask? Um, he's had, he's had a surgery, but I don't... Mm -hmm. I know he had several injuries to, like, his liver, his spleen, and his stomach. Um, but I don't know... I don't know, like, the full extent. But I know that they did a surgery on him, and I guess they stabilized him. But there's going to be, like, you know, more procedures um, probably tomorrow. But, um, but he is alive. Um, so where we're at right now, mm -hmm. um, we're going to go down to the house. Um, what'd you do with the gun? I gave it to my dad. Okay. You <laughs> can All right. So we're going to go down there. We're going to collect the gun and take pictures and, you know, process and you know, look at the blood and everything. Um, then we're going to come back here and I'll probably have some more questions for you. Is that all right? Um, what about my dad and, and my son? Um, once we're done at the house, we can have them taken home. Oh, um... Yeah, I don't have any friends here. Um, all my friends are in Jacksonville for him to go to. What about your daughter? She's in Oviedo. Can she come down? Poor thing, don't answer her phone after 9 p.m. Being so pregnant. Do you know her address? We can have an officer knock on the door. Oh, I think that'd be terrible for her. Maybe, Maybe I can just instruct my dad to just make sure he just goes into the, into the bedroom. Okay. Well, let us. The quicker, the quicker we get down there, the quicker we'll be able to get out of there, and then, and then we'll we'll go from there. Okay. That's gonna happen. Still figuring that one out, but um, I hear what you're saying, but I also have to look at both sides. Okay. <laughs> so we'll we'll cross that bridge when I get done with the house. And we come back and talk, okay? All right. Times 0241 hours interviews uh, concluded. All right, time is uh, 05, 12 hours. Um, <clears throat> Ms. you you would still um, understand that you are um, under your Miranda rights, right? Um, everything that I read you off your card, you still understand? Are you still okay with talking to me? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Um, five, 12 hours interview is going to be um, picked back up now. Um, so we went, we went down to the house, um, and I just have a few more questions for you at this point. Um, can you tell me exactly where he was standing and exactly where you were standing? The little corridor coming out of the bedroom. Uh-huh. Um, I saw him go in through the little door over where the little bed was. I saw him go in through his, into the bedroom when he said how he wants to handle it instead of um, giving me money to move out. Um, and I got... So scared, and I started coming out. Um, 
and saying again, just calm down, calm down. And then he came out of the corridor and started coming. Um, so it was near the, uh, where the granite, where the granite countertop is. So I, I, I don't know, can't say exact, but I know he came out of, out of there and then I was in, uh, so we were in front of the counter. Um, uh, he came out, yeah, so he was more in the corridor um, and I just remember saying, just, just stop. Just, uh, and, and, and then that's when he was coming, coming out. Um, and well, this and coming straight, straight for me. <clears throat> okay. So from what we're seeing, um, and then he went into the kitchen. Yeah. He's... When I ran away, he went into the, he, we went into the kitchen. So he, was in, so he was already kind of in the kitchen a little bit. He okay. Was, um, you know, all, all the blood that would, have been, that would have been pouring out of him okay. um, was you have a little thread, you know, the, the little corner thing that comes out of your room, and then you make that immediate right, and you're in, okay. between, you're in between the, the countertop and the, and the cabinets. Yes. He is a little bit past that. Down, well, I know what, the kitchen. what I did see when um, my son came out, I saw his feet, and it would he was more towards the sink. Mm -hmm. That's the last that I that I had saw. Yeah, I'm just wondering where his exact position was when when, when he, he came was shot. out. I, I it's just a blur, but I know he was coming out of the. Out of the uh, out of the bedroom, and then I know he went in it, it, into the kitchen. And the last time I saw him, he was I saw his. Um, here's the sink. I saw his, his sneakers. Okay, now where exactly were you when you fired the gun? Uh, I was near the, uh, the the counter. Like right Where off the, of it. I I know there was the chairs. One was moved. Were the, chair, um, were the chairs to the left of you or the right of you? They were... No, they were... Well, one was pulled out because he had... Uh, I heard him drag it earlier. So there was one that was over here and then there was another. So there was two. One by the where the counter is. And then there was one he pulled out near where the benches, um, if it makes sense, my table you mean right for, there. For the kitchen table. Yeah, there's the little benches. There was one that was pulled <clears throat> out there, and then there was also one by the by the granite. Yeah. And there's a total of three, three chairs. How close to the countertop do you think you were? It, I was, the, the chair was there. Because I was coming in, he, he I was coming in this way, and he was coming out this way. I I I I don't I, I don't recall exactly where I where I where I stood. I knew it was just in that area right there where the where the um the the, the kitchen counter was. Do you think you were in between the kitchen counter and the kitchen table, or were you further away? <laughs> I was around the, I wasn't, no, it wasn't too close. Did you fire over the countertop? I fired, the, I fired this way. He was here. Here's the counter. That was the direction. Here as he came out and it was like right here. So it, it, it possibly could have been. I, I, I don't know if it was over, over it. I know he was, came out of the out of the, the room running at me. So I don't know if my, if I was, I, 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 I apologize, I don't know. I just know where I was right here. I was in the area of the, of the kitchen as he's coming in. I'm trying to go through all the, everything that had, that, that, that transpired. Okay. <clears throat> um, the, uh... I, know, I was just, I, I just felt just, Fear and just it was petrified. I, I just thought of my son and my dad, and I, I, I and it all happened so quickly. Okay. The um, 
the ADT camera that you guys have inside of the house, does that pick up audio? Uh, no. No, it does, it's just video? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the only one is the one that faces the front door? There's one in the front. Yeah, but at, outside of the house? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the other one is the one that's up on that, up on that, like... That goes to the front door. that faces the door, okay. Yes. <clears throat> Presentation. How many times did you fire? I believe it was two. Okay, so the reason I'm asking is when we got the gun, every every bullet that was in there, it was spent. It was five empty casings that came out of that gun. I believe it was two. And I remember, and it stopped. Like it stopped. I remember it was just, I believe it was two. Do you remember pulling the trigger and nothing happening? Yes. Okay. Now. And then someone came in and asked if I fired it before. And I yeah. remember when we took the, the class with the retired officer. And um, um, then he took us out afterwards. And may have been one more time, because that was several years ago. Um. And we went to a firing range. So there could have, but I don't know if I used that, that gun, but I know that I used it when we took the class. Was there any extra ammunition for that gun anywhere? Yes, there, there is. Where was it at? It's um, under the bed on uh, the, the side closest to the windows, my side, and it's in a pink um, ammo, and okay. there's ammo all over. Yeah. The house. Okay. I don't know. And I, I know there was a, a one of, he got two more guns. I don't know if he has it in his work truck. The other is at the top. Um, is it? Do you remember, do you remember pulling the trigger for the first time and nothing happening? Or do you remember it immediately going bang? No, I believe it went bang. I believe it went bang. And then the next time? And then, and then it's, and then it, that it stopped. Um, and then I ran to, I heard him saying what he was going to do. I'm going to, going to kill you. And, and then I ran to my dad, my dad's room. Okay. Because so I'm trying to say this, if there was five full bullets in that gun, and then now there's none, or there was three empty casings in there already, and you'd fired two shots. Well, the, I know that the, the, all I know is that I, I haven't used the gun. It's accessible. So I don't know if, you know, John has. I know um, he took it out a few times to show his friend Miguel. Um, and it's, it's, it's accessible. So I know that I haven't. I've never fired that gun. Okay. That I, that I know for sure. I, I, so if there's stuff that's in there, it's accessible. <coughs> Um, um, I know he'll take it out and not, I don't know if it's mine or he takes his and he shoots the corals in the backyard, but my, my, the gun is, is right there in my purse. It's always ex accessible. I just know that I haven't. So if you're, I, I don't understand like what you said with the rounds and stuff I, that I have no idea. Yeah. You no. Know, so what I'm saying is. You know, you fire a revolver, the, the casing doesn't go flying off. It stays inside right. of the gun. So what I'm saying is when we got that gun, we took all of the casings out okay. and all five of them were empty. Right. Like yeah, they had been fired. I, have, I had not, I have not <clears throat> fired the gun. That I know. Not since you went to the class. Yes. Do you have anything? Nothing I can think of. Okay. All right. Did um, he ever take that gun out of your possession and take it to the range? Um, no, he never went to the range, but I know that he, we have a friend, um, uh, 
uh, Tony that is a retired military, um, and he um, he's looked at it like he's given it to him to clean or or. Um, um, so I know it's been in his possession at a time. And then Miguel, the friend that he works with yesterday that came today mm -hmm. um, to the house, I know that he's um, looked in and done stuff with the, with, with, with the gun. So that's the only two people that I know that ever have touched, touched it or done anything with it. But I'm, a lot of times I'm not fit. You know, there. Yeah. So you've never inspected to see if it was fully loaded or if it was partially loaded. Yeah. And I guess it should. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I, I just put it in my back when we go kayaking. My son, and I put it in the dry bag, and and I, I don't look at it. I, I don't inspect it. I guess I should. That's what sometimes he's given it to Tony to. When I've okay. fallen off the kayak, he'll have him look at it, so I know that it's been touched by those two, but there wouldn't be anyone, anyone else. Okay. All right. Time's 05, 25 hours, interviews concluded.